Hi, and welcome to this uh, short little explanation on Boyd Shards and uh, these things behind me. These Void Fragment areas like this, they are pretty much everywhere. There's one here, there's one here, and I'll just go to the world map. There's one, I think, on Kingston. The last map you do in Kingston. There's one here. Now, how these things work, I always thought that you have to go pay these shards to get them to operate, but oh, I'm getting attacked. I'm busy talking. Jeez. Okay, so how they do work is as follows you have to use like this one for instance the corresponding skill you'll see sort of here in the middle of the map i can't point my arrow there it says estimated playtime five minutes legion of immortality monster chill destructible only by skill now you will see this one here destructible only by skill it's electric so you need bunny to do that one and this one as well bunny and then when you're done you actually get with the monomer void shards and inorganic void shards and that is how you go to this machine and get your reward so let me activate this one so you can see how it works it is really not explained very well. It doesn't anywhere there say that you have to activate this thing with your skill. Um, the other one is dark, so I think you need like dark magic to or, or fire. I'm not sure. But I know this one and this map is electric and freeze. So this one I can do with Viesa. She's got a freeze skill. So if I do that, it activates it. Destroy void fragments. So now I have to kill these wolves. Because they're basically here to stop me from doing this. Earphones are in. Okay, so now I have to use my free skill again. Oh, not yet. Still immune.
Okay, so now this thing is open again, and now I have to use my free skill again. Take and this. that's the second one. Other side. these two showed up because I think all of them work with the uh, bunny's power but they don't they do not and then it reappears and I can literally restart it over and over and over and that is how they work so you have to just look on the map, over over it, and check which skill it uses. Guys, again. Guys are so rude. Anyway, as I was saying, go to your map, hover over it, check which skill it gets destructed by, and that is what you use to activate it. And then, of course, you can go to any of these things. And let me quickly go, which one is closest? This one. Let me go there quickly. Then I can show you. Because what you get when you destroy them is the void shards that you need to activate one of these portal things. And that'll automatically launch a boss fight. Okay. So this portal over here, I can now, I, I should have enough shards to activate it. Plenty of shards. Okay, so now that brings in a boss fight. gives you this little ball and if you use it you can uh, get an amorphous material pattern obviously I have one of these so I can uh, get more chances of getting one of these rare things but that gives me less valve chance I'd rather get valve 
Yeah, I'd rather go for these. I'm not into Lepic. <laughs> hey, a pew pew. Nice. So yeah, and that that is that is how that works. This is gonna stay here for a while, so I think it's 13 minutes or 15 minutes. No, this one is five minutes. But yeah, that is how it works. And uh, thanks again for watching. Hope that helped you. And watch out for some more short little how to's. See you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.